What up, what up, what up? What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy GS. Welcome back to another Madden 25 online ranked match. And today, we have the Philadelphia Eagles going up against the New Orleans Saints. Now, this right here turns out to be one very, very interesting, frustrating matchup. Now, up to this point, I am uh, undefeated on the PS4. I think I'm like 9 and 0 or 8 and 0 or something like that. This is actually the very first game I played uh, during the live stream yesterday. I live streamed for like 9 hours yesterday. And uh, this right here was uh, the first game to start it off. So uh, immediately I, I noticed how just how bad at defense I truly am. <laughs> like uh, right away he starts running the ball. And I always say there are. Uh, a handful of people that always, always give me trouble in Madden. You know, uh, people who run the ball very well, people who play fag D, and, you know, things like that. So, uh, he didn't do any of that defensively. You know what? Well, he played straight up defensively. Offensively, though, he had a very, you know, run-heavy scheme, which is always frustrating, you know, because my defense has always been out of a pass, you know, heavy defense set. Always, 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 ever since I could remember back like Madden 08. You know, it always come out in quarters or dime or something like that. So when somebody runs the ball very effectively, um, it, it just gives me issues. It always has. And I knew right away that um, this gentleman was going to, you know, create some problems for me due to uh, his play style. So, uh, you know, nonetheless, man, I always usually struggle on offense. You know, offense, um, excuse me, I always struggle on defense. Game plan always, you know, remains the same. You know, just... Remain consistent on offense, man. Just hope we get one mistake. That's all we may need. And as long as we score every time we touch the ball, we're good. You know, all we need is just that one mistake. So, you know, with the Eagles, man, we got Shady McCoy. And I'm obviously trying to get him involved as much as possible. You know, he's a very dominant running back, very elusive. So, I'm definitely trying to get him, you know, um, get him going early on in the game. So, third and go on the 11-yard line. We decided to hit him with a quick little makeshift. And we end up actually scoring a touchdown right here tying the game so uh here we go back again defensively and what he was doing is coming out of uh single back ace and running a lot of stretches and being able to uh, run the ball pretty effectively so um it's kind of like you know choose your own pick your own poison kind of thing it's like do i want him running the ball yes i do because i don't want drew Brees passing he's one of the best quarterbacks in the game Third and seven, right? This is what he did, like, literally every single play. Like, every passing play he did was the exact same passing play. He really just utilized two plays the entire game. And what's frustrating is that I knew what was going on, and I was just always a second late. Um, you know, he was no huddling. He was, uh, well, I wouldn't say no huddling. He definitely wasn't no huddling, but he was quick hiking. You know, he would get set to the line very quickly and just hike the ball and I really couldn't get set up even though I knew what it was he was doing you know it's either um like an iso inside run or stretch from single back ace or if he was passing the ball it was wide trail wide trail wide trail with the slant and an angle route and he was just doing very 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 good job of being able to hike the ball like immediately not giving me enough time to be where I really wanted to be to stop his play. So we actually hold him to a field goal right there, which was big. Now it's a minute 30, some odd remaining. We do get ball at halftime. So if we can score here, get ball at halftime, score again, I figure game should be over. You know what I mean? Because, uh, again, even if I can't stop him at that point, it doesn't matter. If he can't stop me, there's nothing he can do to get the game back. So um, I haven't even really thrown a pass yet besides that screen. Still running the ball, running the ball very effectively. And look at Shady go. He could go. Oh, the way. As we get into the end zone now, we go up 14 to 10. You are going to see something on top of your screen that's going to cover the score a little bit in a second. My apologies. My program that I was running was OBS to let me know when somebody follows and stuff like that. I actually turned that off because I knew it, it had to be annoying for you guys watching the video and just keep it, you know, popping up. Somebody followed, somebody followed, somebody followed. So I got rid of it, but um, you, you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. Right here, completely my, my mistake. Look, I'm covering the middle. He throws right at me. And for whatever reason, I continue drifting towards the left. I don't know why. There wasn't another receiver over there. There wasn't anything else going on over there. All I had to do was stay in my zone straight up, and I easily intercept that pass or at least stop it and uh, create a, you know, incompletion and force a fourth and forever. And I just continued strolling towards the left, and he caught the pass. 
And then uh, same, that was the only time that right there when he came out in that uh, four receiver set is the only time he didn't come out in his um, shotgun wide trail play. And uh, that's what he actually got really close to the end zone with uh, Jimmy Graham on. So that right there sucks. As you guys know, my defensive awareness before halftime turns into that equal of a feather. So I give up a touchdown before halftime. What's new, right? That right there definitely hurts. So instead of me actually going into um, into halftime with the lead, I now am going down with the deficit. So, you know, I still feel like I'm in good shape. You know, we're still going tip for tat. I still feel like a mistake of his is coming. I know what he's doing on defense, on offense, excuse me. I just feel like I'm going I'm to make, you know, the proper adjustments and just be able to uh, get that one stop that I need. So, uh, right here, we're still running the ball, you know, very heavily, very effectively. You know, uh, Shady is closing in close to 200 yards right here. We hit the outside, and I believe we score a touchdown right here. And we are just absolutely having a, an amazing day running the ground. So, right now, it's 21-17. And now it's like, okay, I know what he's doing on offense. I know exactly what he's doing. It's the same two plays. We got to stop it, right? Stop his stretch. Uh, right here, he actually comes on the screenplay, but we stop that. Stop him in the backfield. Second and 16. Right here, wide trail. Wide trail is like I'm trying to get over there fast enough, but he also has the inside slant. Again, wide trail. I bite over towards. That's what I'm talking about. That thing covering the score. That was up there for a little bit. I eventually fixed it. I apologize, guys. Um, I tried to cheat over towards Gronkowski. Gronkowski, excuse me, Jimmy Graham, and then he hits me with the slant right there. I have a guy in position, but he throws the ball like he wasn't even open. He like if you rewind it and you look. Exactly when he let go of the, the ball, like there's a guy in coverage. It was not even a good read, but somehow uh, that guy, my defender, just didn't do anything. Right there, I give him credit on that. That right there was a beautiful touch pass. If he throws a bullet pass, I intercept it. I was definitely covering that slant, crossing over towards the left. Uh, but he just did a touch pass and did a great job. And he ends up scoring. Now, I do end up making uh, a mistake myself coming up this drive right here i run the ball and i get uh shut down in the backfield and now second so instead of running the ball which i've been doing all game i decided to pass the ball and right there i believe that was macklin drops the first down third and 12 just bad read by me i try to go to an out route and he intercepts the pass so i am actually the first one to go on ahead and make um the mistake so that right there can definitely cost me you know i, I still feel confident that i can move the ball downfield and score i should have just ran the ball on second down i've been so successful running the ball i got away from it and i threw a incomplete pass and then i was forced to pass on third and long and we didn't um make a good read we threw an interception so here we go back on offense man i feel i'm already thinking defensively i feel confident i'm gonna be able to score it's like you know let's just run the ball i know i can move the ball down them you know just continue running the ball he hasn't been stopping me whatsoever i need to be able to get myself a stop though i know what's coming it's just i swear i'm always just a, a, an eyelash shy of being able to put myself where i want to be because as soon as he would break the huddle just hike really quickly and i didn't give me any time to really set anything up so um one mistake man all we need to do is get this ball back because i know he's not stopping me uh right here he goes to a toss play towards the left side we actually I do a good job of stopping that. So, right here, second down, he runs the ball. We stop him again. Third down. Um, let's see if we can get this huge stop, man. This would be big. Wide trail again. And again, I'm, I'm trying to cheat over towards uh, Graham. But I don't know if he's going towards the slant or if he's going towards Graham. Uh, what was frustrating is that, you know, I would go to man-to-man. -man, I would shade them towards the left because it's a slant towards the left. It's an angle route towards the left. And I just wouldn't get any type of reaction I wouldn't get anything going from my cornerbacks. And I know Philly doesn't have the best defense in the world, but it was just frustrating. You know, I knew it was coming. I felt like right there we flat out dropped an interception right there. And then he picks up the first down. And uh, that right there was extremely frustrating. Uh, we finally catch a break, man. I had him right where I wanted to be. Put him in position. He played the angle route exactly how i've been telling him to play the angle route the entire time he you know the computer finally bites down and just completely drops the pass and uh, right now we just got to get a stop man maybe we could get the ball back hold him to a field goal and maybe score a touchdown to win the game fourth down he decides to go for it angle out try to try to bite down on it and as you guys see that's how bad my defense is man i have no idea what level this guy is but i'm like eight and no nine and no so i'm playing you know newbies at the game and 
Couldn't stop him. <laughs> it happens. This just lets you know how ass I am at defense. So that's the end of the game, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Right there is our first loss of the year on the PS Quattro. It's your boy Jess. I'm out. Peace. Give it to me, baby.